What's going on, brothers? It's time to tell you the name. Got a video for you. It's your entitled. Page to Oblivion, part 23. Here goes. So, of course, uh, looks like Bumble pretty much gave women a finger. And that's worth a barrel of laughs. Mm hmm. They're upset about that. And then, of course, you got these walking trash cans and these science projects who are mad at what a certain NFL player won. Harrison Butker said at a graduation and the advice that he was given was pretty much blue pill but of course some bad faith actors and some uh, psychotic malcontents tried to say that he was MGTOW which he isn't he's blue pill and then of course you've got the Usual feminists and sociopaths who have declared on social media that now it's the appointed time to put on a sundress, go out in public, and see if you can get some brain dead simp to take off a piece of what he has, money, and give it to them. Yeah, also known as Broke Girl Summer. Among the hoochie, here's the thing. <clears throat> among the hoochies, domestic reptiles, this is uh, Broke Girl Summer. But among the feminists and the other weather beaten psychotic malcontents, this is sundress season. But the problem is, even though it is sundress season, they're not able to. Get the results that they wanted because enough men have gotten watched to the game. That's the problem. Mm hmm. That's the problem. That's why you're seeing them stink up Home Depot, Lowe's, and are just coming up with these horrific strategies of how to. Find men. Where do they shop at? What do they like? What do they eat? What do they drink? Where to find a man? And they're doing that because, of course, as you can see, uh, the economy is crumbling. It's getting warmer. And they need a pit wallet. And the pit wallet's just not there. The dating sites, these dating apps are crumbling because... Men aren't taking the bait. They know that on these dating apps, these dating sites, that the only ones responding to them are bots. Translation. The women who are on those sites are only there to reject men for brownie points. That's why they're there. So... Yeah, it's just, it's a complete mess. And these ditch pigs and these sperm toilets and these walking trash cans brought on themselves. They brought on themselves. You see, you got one half that's chameleoning. They're changing their colors. They're trying to pretend the feminism didn't happen. You got another half that's saying, well, I'm strong and independent only around my friends. But around my husband, I'm not. And you got feminists on these podcasts admitting that they are traumatizing and destroying their children on purpose. Especially the feminist who was talking to uh, Andrew Wilson. She pretty much admitted that yes, they are destroying their children. They're traumatizing them on purpose. And of course, they're being backed by the machinery of the state. This is backing them up. That's why they leave them off the hook when they do the deed to these male students. There have been hundreds upon hundreds of these female pedophile teachers who've done the deed with male students and have not been properly punished for it. Anyone know why? 
because the state, the machinery of the state is in on it. You see, these science projects, these walking trash cans, these feminists, they are creating these monsters. And then they're complaining about the problems they've caused. And here's where the mindfuck sits in. They're creating these monsters, but they're attracted to these monsters. Case in point, hybristophilia in the popularity of Dexter. So yeah, they're deliberately creating these monsters that they say are a problem, but they're attracted to these men. And that's why enough men worth their soul, the logical among us, have backed off. It's not worth it. They're crazy. They're insane. And their insanity is on social media for all to see. Especially amongst these domestic reptiles, these hoochies. A good example of this is these hoochies who are complaining that they are getting kicked off these dating sites. And the reason why they're getting kicked off these dating sites is because they are catfishing and they're saving up to be robbed and murdered. A good example of this is uh, Kyandra. If you don't know who she is, she's the hoochie who was looking at 20 years for conspiracy. She went to a dating site, set a man up to be robbed. He almost lost his life. And she was to get 20 years, but the state only gave her 10 years because they're in on it. Yep, they're in on it. Your life as a man doesn't mean jack shit to the state and the status quo. If they want to hurt you, if these trolls and these ditch pigs want to hurt you, then they can. And that's why brothers have backed off. Let the trash stay in the trash. Host to dies, parasite to dies. You see, the way they've been acting and moving out here is antagonistic to your self-preservation. Mm-hmm. It's antagonistic to your self-preservation, and now you got proof. You got audio visual you got audio visual proof of them doing it. You see, they want to complain that men aren't dating. They want to complain that the pit wallets are leaving. They want to double down and triple down and even proselytize misandry overseas. It's not doing them any favors. If anything, the young men see this and it just pushes them to double their efforts to get the hell away from these feminists, these walking trash cans, and these trollops who mean to hurt them on purpose. That's what's happening, man. That's what's happening. But it's not what I think. How about you, brothers? What are your thoughts on the subject? Do you think these trollops who are putting on these sundresses to try to snag a pit wallet, do you think that they're going to be successful? I don't. Because young men know too much and have seen too much. They're not stupid. Now, the brothers who are in their 30s and 40s We've had enough time to observe this madness. We're not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'll take my peace and quiet, my self-preservation over these psychotic malcontents and these walking trash cans any day. Mm-hmm. This is Lana McTell. That's all I got for you. Like a badass here in the commentary, if you can subscribe, if you're gonna donate, visit my channel, you find a tip jar and the cash app on my channel. All right, fam? All right, brethren, you know drill, you know routine. Go on with the boy, SYSPM. That's for these hoochies, these walking trash cans, these bedroom workers. If you have a problem with you, you say it how you say it, give them nothing. This is Miguel PSA. Welcome to Stipe. See you soon.